Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Myself, I am Ashwani Kumar, an academy educator for the NTA UGC Net Electronic Science subject. And while coming to the present content of the video, here we are going to see the NTA UGC Net September 2020 uh, general paper one, few memory based uh, questions. So this memory based questions are going to be happen in the series wise in my YouTube channel. So to get all these videos and to get the notifications of the assistant professor and the PhD notifications, please subscribe my channel and after subscribing tap the bell icon. Okay. And now while coming to the questions, here the first question is what are the required for good teaching, diagnosis, remedy, direction and feedback. So out of all these things we require for the good teaching diagnosis we require and the remedy direction as well as the feedback. So all these four are required for the good teaching. So here the third option is the correct one. And coming to the next question, what are the following set of statements best describes the nature and objectives of the teaching? So indicate your answer by selecting from the quote. So here out of the A, B, C, D, E, F, we have to select the best one which describes the nature and uh, objectives of the teaching. The first one is teaching and learning or uh, integrally related. There is no difference between the teaching and training. The concern of all teaching is to ensure some kind of transformation in students. All good teaching is formal in nature. A teacher is a senior person. Teaching is a social act whereas learning is a personal act. So coming to this one here the best describes the nature and objectives is that first one teaching and learning both these two are integrally related with each other okay so why because uh, teacher is a learner okay teacher is a continuous uh, learner and by learning only he can able to he or she can able to teach so a is the correct one and there is no difference between the teaching and training so it is a wrong one and concern of all teaching is to ensure some kind of transformation in the students absolutely so the concern of teaching is to uh, bringing the transformation in their behavior that is the most important thing so is the is, is the correct all good teaching is formal in nature it is the wrong and a teacher is a senior person no a teacher must be a talented and the uh, perfect guidance and the perfect mentor person and teaching is a social act whereas learning is a personal act absolutely so out of all these uh, things a c and f are the correct one so option 3 is the correct okay and coming to the next question which of the following learner characteristics is highly related to the effectiveness of the teaching so given options are prior experience of the learner and education status of the parents of the learner peer group of the learners and family size which the learner comes from so out of all these things the highly related for the effective teaching the learner characteristics is he must have the prior experience that means if the students is learning the 10th class he must have the knowledge regarding the 9th class subject and 8th class subject and the 7th class subjects so if the prior experience is there and the prior knowledge is there then only the effective teaching will comes okay so here the, the first option is the correct one and now while coming to the fourth question attitudes actions appearances in the context of classroom communication are considered as so act or attitudes and actions and appearances all these things are comes under the non-verbal type of category okay all these things comes under the non-verbal type of category because attitudes and actions are the speechless okay so with the help of the behavior the learners can able to show their attitudes and actions and appearances so this comes under the non-verbal so the fourth option is the correct one and next which of the following statements is not true in the context of participatory research and the options are it is a collective process of inquiry it its sole purpose is production of knowledge it recognizes knowledge as power it emphasizes on people as experts he is telling that not true in the context of participatory research so participatory research means generally it is nothing but uh, some collectiveness will be there so the whatever the solo purpose is mentioned here so it is quite opposite to the participatory research so that's why here the second option is the uh, correct one or else the second option is not true belongs to the 
participatory research and coming to the next sixth question in the two sets given below indicates the method of teaching in the set one and here the basic requirements for the success of effectiveness or effectiveness so lecturing discussion in groups brainstorming and program the instructional so coming to this one while so here whatever the lecturing is uh, <coughs> out of all these five the lecturing goes to the content delivery in a lucid language that means in a understandable language so lecturing will maps to the three okay so a a maps to the three uh, sorry here the options are like this it is the a it is the b it is the c and it is the d so coming to the a a is mapping to three only in the one option that is the option number three okay we will see the remaining also a discussion in groups so discussion in groups means actually discussion is nothing but a participants will be there so my discussions in the group will happens theme based interaction among the participants fine and the next one is a brainstorming brainstorming is nothing but uh, it is uh, producing the large number of ideas is nothing but a brainstorming that means the c will goes to to and the programmed uh, instructional program instruction is the small step presentation with feedback provided okay so the programmed instruction will connect to this one so so based upon this one here the third option is the correct one next coming to the seventh one is the step one is the research types and step two is the characteristics the different researches are given here fundamental research applied research action research and the evaluative research so coming to this one the fundamental research goes to developing an effective explanation through theory building okay so through theory is nothing but a fundamental research okay so a goes to two and a is going to two in the two options that is one and four that means two and three are the wrong one and next applied research so applied research is nothing but uh, it is a exploring the possibilities so whatever the possibilities of the uh, based upon the theory in the different different situations is nothing but applied research so it goes to the uh, fourth one that is exploring the possibility of a theory for use in the various situations so b is going to four only in the first option and the fourth one is a wrong one so for this question the first option is the correct one and coming to the action action research it is nothing but improving an existing situation through use of interventions and coming to the evaluative research is nothing but finding out the extension to the current work okay it is nothing but a uh, evaluative research so first option is a correct one for this question and next while well, coming to the eighth one <clears throat> uh, which of the sets of activities best indicate the cyclic nature of action research strategy cyclic nature of action research a strategy so here the cyclic nature is that first we have to plan what is the what is the research work or what is the thing you want to do first you have to get the research plan and then according to the plan start acting and start doing the work and at the time of doing the work just observe okay just observe your results and whatever the feedbacks and whatever the results you are getting based upon your results from the observation then just reflect Okay, reflect back. So based upon your observations, then you have to do any modifications or else any type, some type of things you have to do. So like that, you have to reflect back. So here the order is plan, act, observe, and reflect. That means the fourth option is the correct one. Next, which of the following sequence of research steps is nearer to the scientific uh, method? So nearer to the scientific method. The first one given is suggested solution of the problem. Deducing the consequences of the solution and then perceiving the problem solution, location of the difficulty. So perceiving the problem situation, locating the actual problem and its definition. Coming to the option three, defining a problem, identifying the cause of problem, defining a population, drawing a sample, collecting data and analyzing the results. So first one here is first coming to the scientific method of research is we have to define a problem first and then identify what are the reasons for the problem. And then focus on that reasons first. Why? Because if you can able to minimize the reasons, then automatically your problem will be minimized. Okay. And defining the population. Okay. That means take one population, one group of area, and collect the sample from that one. Okay. After collecting the sample, and start, then start analyzing the results. Okay. 
regarding that problem. So here the third option is the correct one. Next, coming to the tenth question, the problem of research ethics is concerned with which aspect of research activities? So the problem of research ethics is concerned with the evidence based research reporting. Okay, evidence based research reporting. So you have to properly show the evidence. Whatever the research you are reporting, you have to show the proper evidence regarding its literature survey or anything. So, it is the problem of research ethics which is concerned with aspect of the research activities. Okay. So, total of these are the 10 number of questions that I want to uh, tell you or else discuss with you uh, in this video. And to get the more questions from tomorrow onwards, you will get some series of questions in my YouTube channel. So, please subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. Okay. Thank you guys. Hi guys, my name is Ashwini Kumar and welcome to my channel. This video is specially for the candidates uh, UG Senate Electronic Science. So the people who are going to write the exam in this uh, 5th November 2020, here the Anacademy is providing the crash course that is titled as Crash Course on Electronic Science through Multiple Choice Questions. This course is going to start from October 1st onwards and by, the month, by this month end, the course is going to be finished. And by the starting of the November month, you will be ready with the uh, class PDFs and all the 10 units will be explained in brief. That means the important con concepts, formulas, points, definitions, expressions, all these things we are going to discuss in this crash course, uh, which will be very much helpful to you to crack the JRF uh, in this uh, 2020 guys. Okay. So apart from this uh, one, the Anacademy is also providing the full course or else a complete course for the electronic science who are planning to write the exam in the upcoming months or the upcoming years. So here the different subscription plans are there. Uh, that is one month, three months, six months, 12 months and 24 months. So out of all these months, uh, if you want to take the crash course, then you, uh, you may prefer this one month or else if you're planning to write the exam in the upcoming months, you may take the three months, six months, 12 months or the 24 months. Uh, but if you are planning to take the subscription plans, then use my referral code that is AshwiniK, then you will get the 10% discount on any one of the subscription plan. Okay. So apart from these uh, plans here, uh, I mean before before going to take all these uh, things, uh, first of all, uh, refer to my Unacademy profile uh, link. Okay. So in this, in my profiling that I will provide this link in the description box of this video. So if you once enter into my profile link, then uh, you may check down. That means here the special classes are available. Special classes are the free to everybody. Okay, so just click on the see all. Then whatever the special classes I took, that means the free free classes I took. That all these classes uh, you can access, guys. <coughs> okay. So career opportunity with UGC or non UGC net electronic science and regarding the previous year questions. Here the 2017. 2018 july and december 2018 and the june and december 2019 all these questions are discussed here and these classes are completely free okay so first check the way of explanation whether you are understanding here or not and then you prefer the subscription plans guys okay so it is update that i want to provide to the candidates uh, belongs to the UGC net electronic science and for more updates uh, please subscribe the channel and after subscribing tap the bell icon and please share this information to your friends or colleagues who are going to give the exam for the UGC Net Electronic Science. Thank you guys.